All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Bonnie Chalette. Thank everybody for coming. Um, we are here with Brandy Bergeron, and she's going to be talking about Discovery Ed. Um, and if you haven't visited Discovery Ed lately, uh, they, they've revamped it, and it looks really good. Um, so just a really quick, um, if you're not familiar with our um, our the Google Educator Group of South Louisiana, um, you can find our website at bit.ly slash GEG South, South LA. Um, same on Twitter. We've got some really good events coming up. Uh, next week, we have Tyler Colson um, and a really good discussion about being an out uh, LGBTQ educator. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, on July 2nd, we have Nikki Laverne and more Bitmoji fun. Um, July 20th, we're going to do our monthly happy hour. We did an executive decision, our last monthly meeting. We're going to change that to a happy hour. Um, and then on July 23rd, um, and this is something I don't know a lot about, um, we're going to have uh, class time and smart suites with um, Michelle Lewis. Um, those are all going to be at five. And if you want to register for a calendar invite, um, go to bit.ly slash GEG register. Um, and I'll be in the chat answering questions. Um, I'm about to put Brandy on. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited. You should be super excited. Uh, Brandy, are you ready? Whatever you are. Welcome, you are welcome to introduce yourself. Um, All right. I hope everybody's having a great evening. Um, I know it's been yucky stormy, but hopefully we've all fared well. My name is Brandy Bajron. I am a high school librarian, a 23-year veteran in education, and a Discovery Ambassador. I've been using uh, Discovery Education way before it was Discovery Ed. It was United Streaming, and I loved it back then. And this year, last year, I had the opportunity to do some PBS stuff, and I was able to become a Discovery Ed ambassador. And that kind of reignited my fire for Discovery Ed, although it never really blew out. But it's a much cooler platform now. And that's kind of what I want to show you today is just, you know, in our world of distance education, we want to make sure that we're providing kids with the good stuff. And with Discovery Education, you never have to wonder if it is authoritative. And so it's just the good stuff. So, all right, Bonnie, this is all new to me, so bear with me. Okay, so the first thing I, that we're going to do is we're just going to hop into Discovery Education. So, okay, Bonnie, help me. Am I, are we on my screen? Yep, I can okay. see your screen and everything. I will let you know if something's going wrong. Trust me. Okay, you're awesome. Thanks. Uh, but right. I'm going to remove myself so that you got the. All right. So I'm going to go straight to Discovery Education. I am a teacher. Um, I'm a librarian in East Baton Rouge Parish. So we are blessed and fortunate to have the Discovery Ed Pro version. Our district utilizes a Google Single Sign-On for loads of stuff, and it does make life a little easier. So I am in Discovery Ed, and this is my home screen. If you've not used Discovery Education in a while, it is definitely turned Windows 10-ish, and that's about the best way I can explain it. It's much more streamlined. For me, I've seen the biggest thing is it's just user-friendly. It, it's really got a pretty platform. They, they've got things, you know, laid out. I, I think it's got really a a wow, cool factor to it. They've also made searching so much easier. So of course we're familiar with the term, the waffle. We can search things by using our waffle right here. But if you notice, all of this is the same exact thing as all of this. It's just another way to get to it. Also, you, you have this um, steady, this is your, your homepage, no matter where you navigate to, you can always go back and click the D, hit the, hit the world, and you're going to go right back to the homepage too. So I want to just kind of go over the components of Discovery Ed. As you can see, you know, you got that big coronavirus staring you at the face and the 
what we're seeing right here is what's my it's my discovery ed page so each person can have their discovery education splash page individualized to your needs these are channels they're current events here's my admin virtual field trips because we know right now um you know that's just something that we really can't can't go go on coding is a big one and this site is this channel is really cool because it goes through a whole coding you know lesson thing um cheddar k12 is one of my favorite channels however i will warn you this one ruined disney movies for me forever probably it, it just has some quirky information about walt disney that i may or may not have wanted to know so let's start right here of course you know trending this this is going to be a hot button and this is just going to give us a quick splash on what's trending right now in education you could easily just tell your students to go to the trending page pick something that you're interested in um, you know watch it and give me a summary of it very very simple easy task you know especially in the you know you're you're out one day that's an easy sub plan also down here here are more channels that are trending for discovery education here's our popular channels uh, I, I don't do not doubt that miss frizzle is trending right now just because of all of us being at home and so it just kind of goes on this is just like a quick blip if you want to see what's going on in the rest of the world when i go to search things Discovery has made it really, really easy to search. I can search by subject. I can search by standard. I have been fortunate enough to, with my discovery experience, to be on several um, discovery groups. And we've been able to review some of the upcoming products and partnerships that they have. Some really, really cool, really cool stuff. Um, LG is getting ready to launch one called LG Smiles, and it's all about happiness and our social emotional health. But one thing that we keep telling Discovery Ed is when they put these together, make sure you can search it by standard. So if I wanted to do a search by standards, which I think this is interesting, of course I'm logged in as a Louisiana teacher, but you can, you can search anybody's standards. There may be something that we don't necessarily have, but Maine does and you can search it anyway so i i have my common core standards you know you, it's just however you you want to do it i had to laugh when i saw the flashback to the gle's um way back in the day so that's one great way and you you have your topic subject area over here again i'm going to go back to my d because you may just want to do something by subject with Discovery education, I've noticed that people always think that it's just science. It's not just science, y'all. I work really hard to make sure that my math people know that they can incorporate technology. So here are your basic hot buttons on, you know, subjects that it, it will work with. And even if it doesn't work, you know, necessarily with math, it may not be like a Khan Academy. It's still going to show how mathematics is used in the real world. And as a high school educator, that's usually one of their big questions. How am I going to use this the rest of my life? Well, they have some great things in here that shows them. This, the career workplace is one of my favorites as the librarian because I review that one with the kids quite often. So back to my D. We've done subject search and we've done standard search. But you know what? I still have my hourglass right here. I mean, my uh, microscope, what is that thing? Magnifying glass. So I can search it however I want to. So maybe today I just want to search the weather because it's kind of funk outside. When you do a search like this, you're allowed a lot of different ways to filter down your search. Of course, weather is a huge topic, but look what I can do. I can search at K2. Three, five, six, eight, nine, twelve, and I may have something that I necessarily, you know, it, I want middle school. You know, I just want it to be a little lighter reading on my kids, or just the information that I see. I might teach high school, but I can still bump down to that middle school and find a concept that will work. Of course, it's not set in stone. Look right here, y'all. It's not just videos. 
the channels, that's those tiles that were on that first page. We have videos, we have images. If you just need text and then studio boards, and we're going to talk about that a little bit because that's like super fun. And then of course you can go more. You have audios, interactives, the lesson materials, and even professional learning. So discovery is just really a great source for all information, even if you're looking for backgrounds. So over here, you can narrow your topics down. This is one of my favorites is the editable button. It allows you to be able to edit the information that you want to present to the kids. Sometimes it may be in a video segment. You just want them to see a piece of the segment. You don't want to see the full thing and you can just edit out a piece. Look at this, y'all. It's a ready-made quiz that will go along with it. And these are just ways that you can continuously format and mold your lessons to meet your own student needs. Look at the different languages. Um, my school is a huge ELL population. Um, I love my language learners and I've learned so many parts of many different languages. But if we're talking about differentiated instruction, this is a great way to do it right here if you have ELL students. And then as a librarian, this is valuable to me because I know when I want to present student information on certain things, I want it to be current. So, and then, you know, there may be times where I want you to search the weather patterns for the early 2000s. You know, whatever meets your needs, they have a ton of different ways that you can do it. And your publishers, how cool is that to be able to say, no, I know in my K2 group that Scholastic is going to be better for me. So you just click on your Scholastic and, and limit everything. It's just so wide open. Um, I'm just going to give us, let's see, this is a video segment. So I want you to see when we go into the video segment, it has the related topics right here. Again, as a librarian, I love this. It will give me the citations. It will also give me the standards. And then look, y'all, it offers different springboards of where I could go next. I may be looking for, you know, the full video. I really like this clip, but I want the full video. There it would be. Or I can just see what's within the video. And they do offer um, the closed captioning. Look at our hot buttons up here. This, I can add this to my quick list, which quick list is kind of like what it says. It's, it's pretty much a bookmark and it will throw it into your file cabinet and you already have it, boom, to go back and get. Of course, that arrow is a share button. Discovery Education works beautifully with Google Classroom. There are a few little things that I've, I've contacted um, Discovery Ed about, like Google Classroom syncs and a few things like that. But for the most part, that gets you going. Here's your assign button. I want to assign this, this lesson into my Google Classroom. Once I click the assign, you know, it, it allows you to follow through. And then, of course, here are your different options. If you click your, I call it the hot dog dots, um, you can add it to your content. But you know what? Maybe you need to work offline. You can just download it. And then again, there's that studio. We're going to talk about that because that's just good stuff. So this gives you an idea of really how detailed a search can be and the things that it, it's going to provide for you and the different ways that you can break it down. So when I want to look through, um, say, my content. I are, I've planned some things. Um, I want to use them and resource back. It's just a file system like you would see on your computer. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, my files are a little messy and these things kind of bug me. And so I'll have to go and clean them up just because I don't like that. Um, so again, right there, now, the school content, depending on how your uh, system is shared, set up, you can share stuff between your teachers or you can share stuff with the district. I need to really work on our EBR district about sharing things as a district level because I think there's so much goodness that we can share together, but we're not utilizing that feature very well. Going back to my D. Okay, so now... I want to hop over for instructional strategies. I have been doing this for 23 years and I have taught every grade pre-K through 12. It's kind of cool. 
It's kind of crazy, but it's kind of cool. So I really have a good insight on different strategies, but sometimes, you know, I have that brain fog and I forget. So the SOS instructional strategies is the coolest tab. I think this is one of my favorite ones. It brings you to different tiles and it shows you activities that are available within the key points of what you want to do. I'm an English teacher, so I want to work on citations. That, remember, was that channel button. Look at all of the different activities that I can do and utilize under the citations. We're all a social media world, and so we have fake book right here, which is a really cool activity. And then when you go into it, it's going to give you even more stuff. So in a sense, it can be like a little rabbit hole, but it just kind of like builds. The strategies build on top of each other and the information it just gives you is more. But, you know, there's a fake, I like the fake book, but, you know, I'm a little older. So they do have an Instagram and they also have a Snapchat template. And these are good templates and content. Look at this right here. I clicked on classroom material and boom, I can download a PDF version of that whole strategy. There's everything I need. There's the extensions. If I need to have a paper alternative, I can do that. But you know what? I could take this and I could put it in a Google slide. I could set this as the background of my Google slide and then do text boxes and have them actually fill it in through a Google slide with text boxes. That was a pretty cool tool that um, I learned this week in my Bitmoji rabbit hole. So it gives you all kinds of different strategies. And again, I have those same elements down on the side. Hey, so, uh, Ms. Burton, I don't mean to, to interrupt, but um, we had a question about if you could review how to get to those instructional strategies. Absolutely. So go back over it. Yeah, because I'm kind of like, this is kind of strange. It's blind. I don't see anybody. So I'm glad you're hopping in. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. So remember, we have two different ways that we can get to all of our tiles. It's the ribbon here, but then it's my waffle right here. So either way you can go to, and it's the instructional strategies button. So when I click on it, it's going to open up a channel. Look right here in the top. These are the different channels. So let's see. This time, let's do instructional hook. That was a big thing when I was in college. You had to have a hook. I think that still applies today. You got to hook them into what you're about to talk about. So when I hit that, that hook channel, it leads me into another area. And it gives me even more strategies, different ways. My Again, I'm high school, so my kids have the gift of um, fabrication. Three truths and a lie is a really cool way to review with the kids because, you know, they have to know their stuff. So they have to have three truths and one lie about their content. They can't do that unless they've mastered the content. And then you can just go through and kind of look through and pick out which one you would want, what strategy you would want to use. And it's like you really can go down the rabbit hole because, it's so many different things, which is really why I'm glad we're doing this earlier in the summer. So if you have access to Discovery Education, you can go ahead and play around with it and use some, start building some of these strategies. It just goes on and on, y'all. It's just amazing goodness. So I'm going to go back to my D. That's going to put me at the home screen. Again, it was right here, y'all. And I really like the icon they use. It's like a life preserver. It's the life preserver of health. <laughs> so there, either way, you can get to it from both ways. Again, the classroom, it is linked with Google Classroom. You can see that mine is lazy because my little turtle's asleep. I have no kids in my class. But here would be where you would put everything and it would do a Google sync. Everything would happen right here. Back to my D. Bonnie, do we have any more questions before I go on? I feel like I'm Umi Zoomy. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, to, uh, big sorry, but no, I'm gonna, uh, I'll stop you. Um, okay. I think everybody's just listening. It's cool. I know um, Amanda Jones said she already sent this to her faculty. 
Um, she's super excited. They have access to Discovery Ed. So, um, like I said, I think a lot of people need to, to, to revisit it. I think it's, it's got some really cool stuff. So, nope, you're fine. Keep going. I'll tell you if we have any questions. Okay, cool beans. So, this kind of, you know, gives us an idea of what's going on up here. You know, classrooms, assessment builder, y'all. We know we got to do it. It's not my favorite thing to do. It never was. But you you can sit here and build the assessments based on the different activities that you give them. Very simple walkthrough, step by step on how to do how to build your assessments. Kind of like a Google form. It will say, do you want multiple choice? Do you want short answers? And then you can save them. And again, look, there's schools and districts. So if I'm working in the English department and we're, you know, my 11th grade department, we're working on Shakespeare or whatever. So we will, we could share an assessment right there and you could, you know, don't reinvent the wheel. That's what we do. We take care of each other. So as a department, you could build it. And then again, I got to really get better with getting our district to work as a team for those things. Remember, I can always come back up to this ribbon at the top and I can go home Ooh, right there. OK, um, professional learning. Discovery Ed is really, really big on educating our educators. And this is one of the, the ways that I, I found out about how great Discovery Ed had made their new platform is something came across an email for me about doing a, a review for um, Discovery Ed at LPB. And when I was able to do it, that's when Emily introduced me to being a Discovery Ed ambassador. And I'm so glad I did. If you want to like learn a little bit more, okay, go to your education tab and just scroll down. It's got so many neat things. Right here is the DEN online community. I am a Discovery DEN ambassador. And I can click here and I can go through and it'll put me in another chat room. And it's like just nonstop of, okay, I need this. Can you help me find this? Here's your more resources for those instructional strategies. It's just like Discovery. I've always been so impressed with them. They never leave you hanging. They always make sure that you're cared for in the information that you're going to put out to your kids. Back to my D at the top. So right here, again, these are the channels that I picked. If I were to do a, a search, when I search on anything, it will give me the channels. So what a channel is, is it's just basically, this is just a clump of information based on that one topic. So right here, we know we're kind of stuck with our field trips. We're not doing anything. So this has already field trip provided. And it's really, really neat stuff. Again, you can customize them. When I was a kindergarten librarian, I always felt bad for my babies because we would do amazing lessons about apples. And they never really could see what an apple orchard looked like because, of course, in Louisiana, we don't have those things. So we would do virtual field trips. And I would be able to find different things on Discovery. And we would actually be able to you know, take our virtual field trip. And I made it a big deal. Like my babies, they had to, you know, I would always have a little costume or a little, you know, something for them and they would get ready for their field trip. And we would go into the apple orchard and they were always so amazed to see the different things. We would do honeybees and they would see what it was like to be on a bee farm or the pumpkin patch. It's just opens up experiences that that you don't always have, not just because of a pandemic, just because of the place that we live. We just don't have those things. This is a new one that they've recently put out, and it's about the MBA, which I found so interesting because not only is it telling you about how the MBA works, but it tells you all of the different careers behind the scenes because all we see, you know, of course, are the players, but we don't see what goes what goes on beyond. So you can just see those segments. Okay, look, you know, the broadcast part, the editorials, you know, all of the different people that play such a big role in making the NBA, but you don't ever see it. So I thought this was a really neat one. And again, 
you know, you can see what grade levels and such that it works with. Got my more action buttons. I can assign. It's like every channel is going to be laid out kind of the same. You're going to see those same familiar buttons. This one was uh, one that I really use a lot when we first had our pandemic outbreak. The kids were so uncertain about everything and the media was just they were just absorbed in the media. The parents were, everything was just so, and is still so uncertain, but it gave the kids scientific information. It allowed them to see, you know, really what was being done. I loved this one and they've recently put this up there. It's telling them about that stimulus packet. You know, what, what happened with that money? And those types of things. So I thought that was really cool. And that is a way to incorporate the math. And it's telling us what's going to happen with that money. Where is, you know, how are we going to have to pay it back? And all of those, those types of things. So this one was a really cool. Again, Cheddar K-12 is one of my favorite channels. It'll just get you with Disney. And then, of course, you can change this. Now, let's look real quick at the K-5. How do you explain this to those babies? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting a little slow. There we go. I love this. I think they did a fabulous job with putting the cartoons in there and making it not scary for the kids and making it, you know, just comfortable for them. So for me, I think Discovery did a really good job helping us out with that. Because, you know, you can be a superhero, wash your hands. That's all it takes. So one of the, the like, really, really, and this one, y'all, I'll be honest with you. You can really dive off the deep end in studio boards. I am a huge proponent of choices. I think, you know, we should have choices in learning. Not everyone learns the same. We definitely have figured that out recently. So when we're thinking about, providing assessment or projects to our students, we can give them choices in how they show content knowledge. And there's nothing wrong with that. We can use rubrics. We can do all of these things. So Studio is relatively redesigned. It used to be, I think, board maker. But they've come through and they've redesigned it. And again, these are just some Let's see. I think I had one that I started doing. These are just some that I played with a little, but I want to show you real quick. So a studio board is basically taking a lots of information that can be overwhelming for the kids. And we, we put it all together. What they, I have a, my, my dogs are about to bark y'all. I'm just giving you a fair warning. And my daughter is trying to be so sweet as to con them back to the back with a bone. But if you hear the dogs, it's okay. It's just the hubby in from work. So, because Discovery gives us so many options, you can take and build boards based on what your topic is. There's a writing prompt activity. There's a game, you know, and this is all just stuff that I have I have searched and added in there. It's really easy to add, th add things in here. I can, you know, customize the back. I can do, you know, really kind of cool things. And then you just share them off with the kids. And... If you wanted to, you could share this in your Google Classroom and everything would be there. It would be like you you didn't have to search for it because you've already done the searching. You just want them to get the information. You could even do an assessment and add an assessment in here and they would you would see it all in your um, when you went back to your assess your activities tab where your classrooms were and you get to see all the information that they've done. Let's see like classrooms when you if you decide assign them a board and they can actually create the boards their own self but this is where you would go back to see it within that classroom under the assignments it's just all of my stuff is gone so i'm going to just search for studio board because i want to i want you to see a much better example than mine all right Let's see, okay, I should have known to go to my SOS. Um, here's the step-by-step -step guide in the professional learning side. And that was under our tab, and I'll go back and show you that. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how you would create your studio board. 
reasons why to use it, getting started with it, collaboration, all that good stuff. Oh, but did I just mess myself up? No, the back button saved me. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find a good one. I should have had that better plan. Sorry, y'all. Okay, again, they've taken care of us. This is exactly how you would assign a studio board once you have them created. So they're just really good grab and go lessons. Ta -da -da. And look, and I forget, y'all have to forgive me. I live in a Google world, but Discovery Education does play nice with Schoology. If that's the learning um, management system that your district has, it will play with Schoology quite nicely as well. So we have ways to get to all of our items here in our ribbon. We can get to the same thing by looking at our waffle. They're the same exact information. I can always go and I can search whatever, whatever, whatever you want. There's so much. Um, also remember that Discovery Education values partnerships. I just did a review for one that's partnered partnered with the Girl Scouts and it was STEM and the Girl Scouts. And so they partnered together and they even created tons of STEM activities that the troop leaders can use with all levels of Girl Scouts. The, another one that I just did, which was a video recording that my daughter did, it was on happiness and it was with um, LG, LG sponsored it, Life is Good. So they have big corporate sponsorships and that's one of the reasons that they can make their stuff so High quality. Whew, okay, I'm taking a breath, y'all. Are we good? Bonnie, we're good? Still want to find a good studio board. You're doing great. Everybody's, everybody's. Um, I feel like I've probably like really blown everybody's mind because it is so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you know, this is going to be, um, everybody this will live at this link yeah um, if you want to start or come back um this will stay here um amanda jones is amazing she's gonna uh she said she's <laughs> learning a lot but um yeah so this will live at this link so if we're you know if you want to go back you're welcome yeah. um to to come back here rewatch it uh, or reach out to us and we love to help yeah i was trying to find a good board I'm not seeing anything that just strikes my fancy. The channels are really fun. Um, you know, sometimes just in with the news, I'm tired of watching the news. So sometimes I'll just hop on to the Discovery News. I love Mythbusters. That's just a show that my family and I will watch sometimes. So it's kind of cool to go back and just review this one, the Instructional Inspiration. That was one of my my favorites as well, because it just gives me some, some good springboards when I'm a little stuck on what I want to do. And there it is. This is just, remember y'all, this is a quick remix. Um, it's just kind of discovering something that you've known you had. A lot of us have access to it because they have such strong partnerships with the school district, but I think it's one of these hidden treasures. And I'm glad you spent a little bit of time with me to be able to um, kind of uncover some of the treasures that are within Discovery Education because it is still really good, valid stuff. All right, Bonnie, do you see anything I missed, ma'ams? All right. All right, Bonnie, I'm, I'm depending on you here. I don't see where we had any, any more questions. I'm gonna, oh, the dogs, y'all, they're getting ready to come to me. All right, Bonnie, we are at a 30 minute mark, ma'am. And that was real quick. I feel like we're taking note here. Oh, 
I'm going to mute it, y'all, because the dogs are getting ready to get bad. I'm not <laughs> sure if Bonnie's frozen, but I can oh. oh, okay. I'm going to I'm going to mute. I was about to say the same thing. So you get one step, but yeah, you're all right. be rude. I was like, I didn't want to hop on, but I, I definitely could do a southern accent, maybe if I needed to. I, I don't know. Um, but oh, there she is. I will leave now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I looked away for like two seconds. Uh, yeah, I was going? like, okay, Bonnie, am I in the wild blue by myself? I'm not sure. Sorry, 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 sorry. I looked away. Um, so how's it, you know, what I, like I said, tons of good stuff. Um, we're going to post a feedback form in the chat. Um, if you want to share this out, like I said, this will live on the, this will be on the Global GEG um, YouTube playlist and it will live at this link. You can go ahead and start right now. Um, if you want to come back to it, um, if you've got any questions about Discovery Ed, we can certainly like follow up with that. Um, but I miss B, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, uh, y'all are quite welcome. And Bunny really should back. have the, um, you know, she's got my slide deck, and really that's just kind of like the some quick information on there. But that does have, you know, my email, Twitter. I'm so happy to help any way that I can. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I can't wait personally to have Miss Miss be back. Um, I get I'm lucky enough to work with her all the time. So, oh, I thank you. Spoiled. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you know, like I said, we've got some stuff coming up till July, like through July. Um, and and hopefully we'll have we'll do a lot of back to school stuff. Um, and I love to have Miss B back because she's really, really helpful. We did a PD today already today. Yes, yeah, so we have spent the together. morning and the afternoon together. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, we have had a great day. Um, so, yeah, if anybody has any questions or if you want to come to a, a future session, um, please, please, please let us know. Give us some feedback uh, on our events. So we know how to improve. But if we have any questions, we'll stay here for a minute. But I, I think we've wrapped up. Um, so if you've got any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. And we are here to answer. Great job, Miss B. Thank you. It just was like in the black hole. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, like I said, I looked away for like two minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, whoever, whoever threw the lifeline, thank you. I'm like, okay. Stephanie Howe, man. She's a rock thank star. Thank you, Steph. You me yeah. out. Yeah. Two seconds. But um <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I mean, I know I know there are a lot of districts like and I know everybody's commented like I didn't know this this was you know all here. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Um, you know, and I, I really want to get this out there because a lot of a lot of districts are paying for this. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if yours is, but I know some districts are and uh they're just not using all those features. So I just um, we did, uh, Ms. B did an ambassador session at her school this year. Um, and we just had a lot of the same response like, Oh, that's great. So, um, that's why we wanted to do this, but, um, nice don't have a one question. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, and we did have a question about linking student data. Like I said, um, you can create classrooms and stuff. It's just that, that will be your choice and how you want to do it. Um, and yeah, it does like. Yeah, go ahead. You know, a lot of it can be downloaded. I mean, you know, yeah. you, you can download and upload if you need to. I know um, because it works with Google, you know, I think you're falling maybe under some of the Google securities with that mm -hmm. because it's a sync. I'm not positive on that body, but I'm, I'm thinking so. Um, knowing how conscious Discovery Education is, I haven't, I haven't, of course, really delved into their policies, but I feel like you know, they've got everything covered, but you can oh, always we wouldn't work with them if they didn't No, Yeah. Um, that's you you are, yeah. To download. You can always mm -hmm. download it and then upload it back if you're more comfortable mm -hmm. doing it that way. But, you know, DE is just such a solid company. No, we, uh, we most certainly do not deal with, um, they, we have to, if you ever work on the back ends of stuff, like if your district has it, they, they have a big privacy thing. It's VERPA compliant. So, um, yeah. So yeah, Amanda, that's what it said. Like, um, we've been pushing out some discovery ed trainings and, and people have really been like, what? So, um, that's what we're working on here. Yeah. Hop back. If you need anything else, I do not mm -hmm. mind helping because it really is a buried treasure. 
Um, you know, like I said, my 23 year career, it hasn't gone anywhere and I don't expect it to. I just mm -hmm. think we forget about it with all the other stuff we have, but it's just so solid. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to end our broadcast. I thank everybody for coming. Thank you uh, so we much. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Have a good evening, y'all.